Batch renaming your files can save you a lot of time, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Hi everyone, I'm the Web Guru, and I do tutorials on video, photography, and audio, so be sure to subscribe and leave a comment. So here on my computer, I have a bunch of files and folders. Inside of the mountain folder, I have several pictures that I took, and I would like to add Mount Rainier to the beginning of all the file names. And doing this manually is uh, very time consuming, um, and I don't feel like doing that. So I'm gonna use Adobe Bridge. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the mountain folder, and I'm gonna just drag it down to my dock on top of the Adobe Bridge icon, and I have an, a newer version, but, but this will also work in an older version of Bridge. And now I can see all of my files here. I need to select them all. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Command-A, uh, that's Control-A on Windows, or you could always go up to Edit, Select All. And then Tools, Batch Rename. I normally like to rename in the same folder, but you could also move and copy to another folder. And then down here where it says new file names, this is like the formula for the new file name. So what I'm going to do is I want to add some text. So that will be Mount Rainier. And I'll be using dashes, but you can also use underscores. And I normally don't use spaces in my file names. And then I want to keep the current file name. And then down here, it's showing me my new file name on one example. So uh, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I can also click on the preview button and I get to see a preview of all of the new file names. And that looks good. So I'll click on OK and then I still have to click on the rename button. And now it's done. So if I go look at a list of my file names, I have Mount Rainier at the beginning of all my file names, and it was done almost instantly. So that is fantastic. Now let me show you another example. I have a voice folder with a bunch of audio files, um, and I did multiple takes here, and I'd like to label them. So I'm going to take the voice folder, drag it to the bridge icon. Um, if the dragging technique doesn't work, you can always open up bridge and then navigate to the folder manually. I'm going to go Command-A or Control-A to select all, Tools, Batch Rename. And this time I'm going to have different text. I'm going to do V-O-Take, then a dash. And then I need to add a field. And you can add and remove fields with the uh, plus and the minus button here. So I'm going to add another field. And this one is going to be a sequence number. And I'd like, to, I'd like it to start at one. And then uh, this one is going to be two digits. And then I still want to keep my current file name. And I'm looking at the preview here. And I can see it says VO take one, but I need another dash. So then I'm going to add another field. Uh, that's going to be a text field. And I just need to put a dash in. And now that looks good. If I click on the preview button, I'll just double check everything. That looks fine. And then I'll click on the rename button and it's done. If I go look at my computer, there it is. So VO for voiceover, take one through take 12. So this is great. Now I'm going to show you a slightly more complicated example. This is going to be in the uh, park folder. I have several images. And I'm going to drag this into Bridge, select all, tools, batch rename. And the first one is going to be a text field, and it's going to just be the name of the location, Glacier Park, and then a dash. The second field is going to be a date. So I'm going to choose a date time. And Bridge is pretty smart. It's able to automatically detect the create date of the file. And then there's some other options as well. That's what I want. I want the create date or when it was shot. Um, and then the format for date that I prefer is year, month, day. So that way it sorts chronologically. 
and then I still want to have the dash, and then rather than the current file name, I'm going to change that to a sequence number, um, and it'll start with one, and I want it to be four digits, like that. And now you can see the new file name down here. When I click on the preview button, I'll just quickly scan everything, and then when I click on rename, it'll happen immediately. And over here, I can see the result, the location, the date, and then a sequence number for all of my files. This is a pretty common convention that professional photographers use, and it's very quick and easy to do this with Adobe Bridge. A lot of times on a video project, I'll use this. If I have a multi-camera shoot, I'll label my shots camera one, camera two, camera three. Uh, if I'm interviewing somebody, I'll add their name to all of their files. So that way it's easy to find and keep myself organized. Now, if you are doing this for a video project, I recommend doing this before you import your media. So usually toward the beginning of your project, because if you try to do this after you've imported your media, then all of your media will become disconnected um, and it could be a big headache. So hopefully that was helpful to you. Let me know in the comments. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Uh, keep learning and growing, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.